Welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel. Very simple video today. Got my car down here, which has been washed. We're gonna measure what the gloss is like on the car after it's been washed, apply a detail spray, and then measure the gloss afterwards. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Very simple video today. I'm gonna to take this gloss meter or Gonio photo meter that I was talking about the other day. My car has been washed, it's nice and clean. Um, and I'm just gonna take some readings here on the roof. So we're packing, that's the one we're kind of vaguely interested in here. 26 on the high, 86 sorry, on the high gloss reading. About 3.9 haze and 77 R spec. So I'm just going to take another reading down here. 86 and roughly the same. So we're dealing with kind of glossy paint. How high can you go? Well, I think you could probably get this one here, this high gloss above 100. Um, maybe as high as sort of somewhere between 105 and 110 if you really go to town on the paintwork and polish it up but we are just dealing with unrefined glossy paintwork that's a couple of years old and as you can see we're packing about 84 levels of gloss there i can't remember what the other readings were so let me just take one more 83 something like that so now we are going to grab a detail spray and I'm just going to be doing a shootout comparison soon on detail sprays but I could grab anyone it doesn't it won't really make any difference on the results here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray across there some detail spray and I'm just going to work that so you can see the footprint of the product there going over so I'm just going to work that into the paint and then get a dry cloth over here it's so cold this isn't going to flash out quickly but i'm just going to buff this back to a gloss with a dry cloth so it's a nice one to use this one All right. just give it a flip okay so that's buffed and we'll take our gloss meter. Now, what do you reckon is gonna happen here, guys? So we were about, what, 84, 85 units of gloss, something like that. So let's go back on. I'm expecting this not really to move at all. Um, we'll talk about the results afterwards. So let's, um, let's do this. So 82. Eighty two. It's a bit of an angle here. Eighty four. One more. Eighty five dot three. So that's kind of like more or less, more or less. The same amount of gloss as it was before you sprayed them. What's the point of this video, guys? It's something we've kind of covered before, really. How your car looks, it's really down to what gloss you're getting when there's no product on there. So you need, you need your car to be glossy when it is just kind of bare paint and no product. Um, and then when you do that, th these detailing products... Their ability to provide gloss is kind of minimal, as we already know. The worse condition that your paintwork is in, the more these products can affect it. So say if it's an older car with slightly hazy, swirled up, you know, fine scratches all over it that are dulling the paintwork, then the sort of heavy resinous type solvent carried waxes and sealants and stuff, you can rub those in. And they really help bring up the gloss when you've got kind of a low gloss finish because of that type of damage in the clear coat. When you have a high gloss finish from the paintwork, really the, the ability for any product to add gloss is minimal. Um, 
And at that point, you're really just looking to use those products to tidy up, especially your detail sprays. You're really looking at those products to tidy up the panels, like so you can go around after the wash. If there's any drips, drips of water that are there, any fingerprints, any patches or anything like that, you can just spray them on and buff up the paintwork and you know, you even use them on your glass if they're they're formulated for glass and just get your car nice and tidy. So even like if we look at this here, I haven't cleaned the glass, I've just washed it. So you can see on the inside of the glass, there's all these lines from where the thing's gone up and down on the rubber. You could just give that a squirt with detail spray or something like that. Although I'm gonna go over it with glass cleaners when I get five minutes. Um, but I thought this video would be useful because it just shows you some of the things that um, the gloss meter can tell us about what these products do. And the old kind of saying that really, you know, it's all about the kind of paintwork and the gloss that your paintwork provides is, is very, very true. So still, some of the most important things about how you look up look after your car are less to do about products but how more to do with how well you maintain your paintwork how often you clean it because as soon as you get dirt on the surface of this car you lose all that gloss so the most important thing you can do to have a glossy car is cleaning it regularly um and then really the, the protection products are there to make cleaning and washing the car a little bit easier um, help protect it from build up of kind of dirt and stuff like that so that you don't have to clean your car with as aggressive kind of products or aggressive wash methods and stuff like that so um, nothing really new on this video guys let me know your opinion on it really keeping a keeping a good looking car is more about just kind of washing it regularly um, washing it well and um, you know, not, not going in there heavy handed and kind of, uh, you know, scrubbing out on the paintwork when you don't really need to, at least for me. Um, like I say, interesting thing is this car kind of looks, it looks amazing under this light because you're seeing all of like the reflections and the shine. And the paintwork on this car generally looks really, really good. But those readings of around about sort of 84 units of gloss, they're not that kind of impressive. And, um, when we do full paint correction on this car we're gonna you know polish it up and really spend the time on each panel going over with very fine finishing polish and really working you know um, the abrasives over the surface we're aiming to get the gloss up to hopefully somewhere between like 105 and 110 something like that should be possible and then you're giving like you know probably about 15 to 20 percent increase in gloss from all that work and then the name of the game is trying to keep it there and keeping it north of like 100 so the car is really looking like kind of electric and popping all the time. So that's, I thought this would make a very quick, interesting video. Let me know your thoughts on all this, guys. It's not a product thing. Wouldn't matter which detail spray I picked and used. I've, I've, I've got a few over, over, over there that I'm just poking around with and testing as well. Like I say, it doesn't really matter. So uh, I thought this was interesting. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Holding on to what I knew But the moment's gone Where was I